Microelectronica has a new clickboard called the Speak Up Click that allows you to use voice recognition to control your electronics projects. The voice commands are programmed using the Speak Up Click module's built-in microphone and are configured using a free utility that runs on a Windows PC. The Speak Up module can either be used as an independent device, used with a solderless breadboard, or plugged into a development board that has a microbus connector. For this video, we will look at using the Speak Up Click board in standalone mode. The results of the voice commands will be monitored with a standard digital multimeter. The multimeter has been set to read DC voltage. I've connected the red wire on the multimeter to the Speak Up board's IO1 port. The black wire on the multimeter is connected to the ground pin on the Speak Up board. We are going to program several voice commands that will allow us to turn the IO1 port on and off and use a PWM module to vary the IO1 port's duty rate. All the programming for this tutorial will be done visually with the Speak Up utility and we won't have to write a single line of code. You can download the Windows based Speak Up utility from the MicroE website. Let's start the Speak Up program. Click the New Project button. We are going to create a new project called Multimeter. Let's enable the Open Settings After Project Creation checkbox. The Acceptance Threshold attribute controls the tolerance of the voice recognition module. If you are in a noisy environment, you may have to adjust the settings to improve the recognition accuracy. The Acceptance Threshold works like this. A lower acceptance threshold value means the speak up module is very picky and the spoken word must be said very similar to how you recorded the original voice command for a match to be found. With a higher acceptance threshold, the speak up module will be more forgiving in how the voice commands are pronounced. If you set the acceptance threshold too high, the speak up module will try and match anything you say as a voice command. Let's change the acceptance threshold from the default value of 15 to a more relaxed value like 25. We are going to use IO1 for this project. We can give IO1 a custom identifier name using the pin aliases section. Let's write in the word test meter. This will make it easier later and help us remember what each of the IO pins are connected to. Click the save button to save the current project. The arrow icon to the right of the pin aliases section lets us toggle the view and see the initial pin state section. This allows us to define a starting high or low logic state for each of the I.O. pins. Let's set I.O. 1 to use a high state when the speak up click board is turned on. Click on the slider bar next to the word I.O. 1 to toggle the initial state setting to high. At this point, we can switch over to the main speak up view by clicking the gear wheel icon at the top right of the window. Now we are going to record a series of voice commands into the speak up board. Click the plus icon to add a new word to the speak up vocabulary. The speak up board should be connected to your desktop PC using a USB cable. Once you connect the speak up module, it will turn on and start reading the ambient noise in your environment. To record a new voice command, you should hold the speak up module about 15 centimeters from your mouth. Click the record button and speak clearly into the small electric microphone on the speak up board. Say, port on. Port on. Once the recording is complete, the sound will be played back to you. Port on. Port on. Port on. Port on. You want to capture as clear of a recording as possible. If the recording sounds like a burst of air has hit the microphone, you can try moving the board down a bit and out of the direct air stream from your mouth. Let's give the voice recording a name. Type in port on. Click the save and close button. In the assigned action section, we can see the first pin is named test meter. Let's set the action for test meter to on. Click in the action section on the word none. In the pop-up menu, set the action to on. This will tell the speak up click board to send three volts of power to the red wire on the multimeter. Let's record another voice command. Click the plus icon to add another audio recording. Click the record button and say port off. Port off. Let's give this recording a name. 
type in port off. Click the Save and Close button. Now we can give the port off voice command a custom action. In the Assigned Actions section, we can assign a new action to the pin named Test Meter. Let's set the action to off. Click in the Actions section of the word None. In the pop up menu, set the action to off. This will tell the Speak Up clickboard to send 0 volts to the red wire on the multimeter. Besides the usual actions of on and off, we can use the pulse command to create an output with a duty ratio. Let's record another voice command. Click the plus icon to add another audio recording. Click the record button and say half duty. Half duty. Let's give this recording a name. Type in half duty. Click the save and close button. Now we can give the half duty voice command a custom action. In the assigned action section, we are going to assign a pulse action for the pin named test meter. Click in the action section on the word none. In the pop-up menu, set the action to pulse. Click the edit button next to the word pulse. A pulse parameters window will appear. This interface can be used to create timed pulses or to simulate a duty ratio. Let's set the duty ratio to 50. This will tell the Speak Up Click board to output a pulse width modulated signal that will be read by the multimeter as 1.5 volts, which is half the voltage of the port on command. Click the Save and Close button. You can click on the heading tabs at the top of the Speak Up window to switch between each of the voice recordings. We can play back the voice commands by clicking the triangle shaped play button. Port on. Port off. Half duty. This is useful to check the audio recordings for clarity. Next to the play button is a description field that can be used to write a note about each voice command. This description is useful if you have a larger project and want to save a note about each voice command and how it will be used. We are going to be using the Speak Up module in standalone mode. If you are using the Speak Up module with the microcontroller, you can use the Export button to create an exported document in Micro C, Micro Basic, or Micro Pascal format. The exported document will have the constant index values for each voice command along with the voice recording name, audio duration, and description. Let's upload the current project to the Speak Up board. Click the Upload button in the toolbar at the top of the window. The voice commands will be transferred to the Speak Up board. Now we can quit the Speak Up utility and disconnect the Speak Up module from the PC. I'm going to move the Speak Up board to my workshop and connect it to a USB power supply in my multimeter probes. Make sure your digital multimeter is set to DC volts so you get an accurate measurement. I have the red multimeter probe connected to the IO1 pin, and I have the black multimeter probe connected to the ground pin labeled GND using a set of test clips. When the Speak Up module is turned on, it will take an ambient noise reading for 10 seconds. Since we set the initial state to high, the IO1 pin reads 3 volts when the Speak Up module is powered on. After this point, the amber LED on the Speak Up board will be on, and the module is ready to detect your voice commands. Let's try the voice recognition. We will start by telling the Speak Up board to turn off the IO1 port. If the words Port Off are recognized correctly, the red LED will blink on for half a second and the multimeter will read 0 volts. Port Off. Let's turn the port back on. Port On. The red LED blinked and the multimeter is now reading 3 volts. Port Off. Port On. Port Off. Now let's try the pulse feature with the 50% duty ratio setting. Half duty. The multimeter now reads 1.5 volts. Port off. Let's try saying a few incorrect words. Blue. Red. Apple. These words are ignored since they aren't in the Speak Up Voice commands vocabulary. As a note, the Speak Up board uses a DTW voice recognition system, and this means it needs to be trained to recognize each user's voice. This is typically done using the Speak Up utility. 
Advanced users can also use the two buttons on the Speak Up board to retrain the voice command vocabulary in the field. Port on. Port off. Half duty. Half duty.